Asian Eagle Owl chick. Uh, this chick uh, is actually now about five weeks old and weighs about uh, 1,540 grams. Uh, if you can't do the math, uh, that is 3.4 pounds. Uh, so pretty incredible growth that we are seeing here from this bird. And at this stage, uh, this chick right here would be what's considered a brancher. Uh, you might notice uh, if you've watched some of the previous uh, videos, a lot of development happening here. Uh, at this point, this chick is about full grown in body size. Uh, so he's not going to gain too much more when it comes to mass. Uh, but what he's really focusing on now is growing in those adult feathers. Uh, you might see some of those feathers coming in on the back and especially here on the wings and tail. And what we're noticing as he does move around is uh, I'll show you a lot of these uh, down feathers are coming off. Uh, the first challenge that this chick underwent was the ability to maintain his own body temperature and so he grew all of these fluffy downy feathers uh, to help him to do so. Um, but um, at this point uh, his next challenge is really the ability to fly and so we're seeing a lot of these down feathers getting pushed out and those adult feathers coming in from the same follicle. Uh, here in a few moments we might get lucky enough to see this bird stretch uh, he's building a lot of muscle mass at this point, so a lot of stretching going on. Uh, and if he does that, you'll notice on those wings, uh, those feathers are growing in. And you might even catch a glimpse of a little bit of a sheath on those feathers. Um, and that's protecting the blood supply. Uh, right now, uh, each one of those feathers that's growing in has a blood supply to it. It's called a blood feather. And that blood supply is bringing nutrients uh, actually to those feathers to help them to develop. And um, here, uh, once they are full grown, uh, what we will see uh, is uh, that this chick will, that blood supply will recede and those feathers will be what is called hard down. Now you might notice he's doing a little bit of nibbling here on me and that is because this chick is very hungry right now. Uh, just a little while ago, this bird uh, actually cast this. Uh, this is an owl pellet. Uh, if I pull this apart, uh, this is actually all of the fur and feathers and bone uh, that this bird could not digest. And what you might actually see, I thought was pretty interesting in here, was this. Uh, this right here is the foot of a day old chicken poult uh, that he actually ate earlier this morning. Uh, so uh, though the first couple pellets he cast didn't contain much bone. He needed that calcium to help to develop uh, those uh, bones inside of his own body. Uh, at this point, he uh, has those for the most part developed and uh, is casting up these pellets. Uh, so really fun to see. Um, but what's going to happen here in just a moment is we are going to go ahead and feed this chick. Again, he's still getting fed a couple times a day. And let's see if we can't get him to turn around. Uh, and at this point, uh, he's actually eating whole mice. Um, so uh, we'll see if Audrey can't get a nice look at that. Um, there goes one mouse uh, down pretty quickly. Uh, and we'll see how many this chick might eat. Uh, while we're doing this, uh, feel free to ask any questions that you might have. Uh, Audrey's behind uh, the phone here and she'll pass those along. But again, swallowing these mice whole, uh, head, fur, tail, and all. Um, you might uh, be able to see a little bit of the tail still sticking out right now. Uh, he's working on getting that down. Um, but there goes two. Uh, we'll see how many more uh, this chick has room for. How much is he eating now? Great question. How much is he eating now? Uh, yesterday, this bird ate uh, three day old chicken poults and about eight mice. Uh, so he was really hungry. Um, uh, this morning, he didn't eat though much at all. He only ate one chick and that's because his belly was pretty full with that casting. Uh, so once it came up, um, we're gonna see him um, hopefully uh, eat uh, quite a few of these mice. So there goes four um, and uh, we'll see how many more he has room for today. Again, still doing a lot of growing and developing, uh, though body mass is mostly um, there, those feathers, all of those feathers growing in, um, it requires a lot of energy still. How dangerous are blood feathers? Great question. How dangerous are blood feathers? Uh, so uh, blood feathers, uh, they can be uh, somewhat dangerous, especially for a young bird like this that has so many feathers in blood at one time. Um, those feathers are very sensitive. 
Uh, and if they were to break, um, uh, they would actively bleed. Uh, if you are a chicken and you break enough of those blood feathers, you could potentially bleed out. Uh, so we make sure to be very careful uh, when we do have to potentially handle this chick uh, to avoid uh, breaking any of those blood feathers. Um, so uh, they can be dangerous, but again, once those feathers are full grown, that blood supply will recede um, and uh, those feathers uh, will, um, in essence, become a dead tissue at that point. So it wouldn't harm the bird if one of those feathers were to break. Does he have a gizzard? Great question. Does this bird have a gizzard? Uh, so the main function of the gizzard, uh, it's an organ that you find in a lot of birds, uh, is to help to grind uh, things up. I always think of it as gizzard G, grinding G, helps me to remember that. Uh, and since uh, these owls, they don't uh, necessarily need to grind up a lot of things like some birds do who eat a lot of seeds. Uh, they don't necessarily have as pronounced of a gizzard there. Um, they don't need that organ, and so um, not uh, necessarily a very prominent gizzard in the owls. I lost count. Are we on six there? Some of you might know. Um, this is all I brought with me today, but um, pretty incredible appetite here uh, at lunch for this owl. Do their eyes have a nictitating, nictitating membrane? Really great question. Do their eyes have a nictitating membrane? The answer is yes. And now if you don't know what a nictitating membrane is, it's actually the third eyelid of these owls. Uh, they have a top eyelid and a bottom eyelid, just like we as humans have. And then when he does blink, uh, you might notice um, actually another eyelid that comes across the eye. Uh, that eyelid is actually opaque, so they can see through it, um, but it's not a, a fully a transparent, it's more translucent. Um, and what it does is offers protection uh, for the eye. Uh, this Eurasian eagle owl would inhabit a lot of edge type habitat, so he might have to fly through uh, a little bit of a forest, uh, might get debris in his eye, and so that offers protection where they can see through it, um, but uh, keeps their eyes safe from that debris and also helps to moisten the eye as well as they blink. Um, if you've ever looked uh, at the corner of your eye, you might see a few little pink things, uh, the little pink circle in the corner of your eye, that's your tear duct, but next to it, the little pink part that rests across your eyelid or across your eye that's actually our remnant nictitating uh, membranes uh, we don't need them anymore um, so that's what we uh, have now does he get cuddly after a meal great question does this bird get cuddly uh, so i would not necessarily uh, say that this bird cuddles uh, by any means uh, right now what you're seeing here uh, we are outdoors uh, and uh, this bird recognizes uh, that he is vulnerable when outdoors. Um, there are a lot of predators out there uh, that might try to come in and actually harm or even kill this bird at this stage. Uh, he can't uh, fly yet, though he is doing some hopping and stretching uh, to try to build up those flight muscles. He's not flighted, and so um, at this point he is vulnerable to predation from other animals. And so he oftentimes likes to go underneath things, uh, whether it's me squatting down here, like whether it's under a like bush, or whether it's under a tree. Uh, in essence, what this bird is doing right now is hiding himself um, from any of those potential predators that could be in the area. So not cuddly. Uh, he is certainly has a powerful grasping feet and sharp talons, and he is practicing how to use those. Um, we're not seeing any of it right now, um, but um, often um, this bird will hop around and practice kind of jumping and grabbing on things. Those are skills that he is going to need um, later on uh, to be able to catch prey. And so uh, you'll notice he's uh, also picking at some things as well, learning what food is and what isn't food. Um, this is in essence like a toddler stage uh, for these owls. Um, they are uh, trying, they have that equipment that's necessary. They have that instinct that they need to hunt and kill and uh, know what food is and looks like. Uh, but at this point, um, they're just practicing and it's a really a fun experience that we have here today We have in essence the toddler version of the owl uh, and then uh, Audrey's a toddler here today um, Notice he's got a lot of those skills too. He's grabbing things picking up sticks talking uh, So kind of a fun experience uh, to get to see the human version and the owl version of that as well Might have missed but how old is he? 
great question. Uh, how old is he again? This chick is actually five weeks old at this point. Uh, so only uh, five weeks old. He hatched out actually on March 10th. Um, so um, pretty interesting to get to see the development. Again, about full body mass at this point. So not really going to get much heavier, but will certainly look a little bit bigger. Uh, Eurasian eagle owls are actually the second largest species of owl in the world. So a pretty good sized bird. Uh, this specific uh, bird uh, is uh, most closely related to our great horned owl uh, here in the United States. Uh, and uh, again, uh, getting uh, to look uh, at uh, some of that uh, instinct to try to hide at this point. Um, but uh, if you ever came across a great horned owl chick that looked like this, again, does still have those down feathers, but you can see some of those adult feathers growing in. You can even see the start of the development of the facial disc, so those feathers around the eyes uh, that help with hearing. And even these things right up here, um, these are actually the starts of the feather tufts. Um, uh, of uh, these owls. So a great characteristic to look for in the eagle owls. They tend to have light colored eyes and these feather tufts is sticking up and that help with camouflage and communication. Uh, so if you ever see an owl that looks like this, uh, at this point, this bird is fully capable of climbing uh, back up into a tree. It might not look like it, but he is a really great climber at this point. Uh, so at this branching stage, he's starting to explore more of his environment, uh, doing a lot of hopping and jumping. Um, uh, uh, practicing, uh, uh, practicing um, uh, those uh, skills that are going to be necessary down the road for flight and for catching prey. Um, and um, they sometimes wind up on the ground. So uh, at this point for this bird, um, uh, not too much of a concern if you see a bird like this on the ground. Um, certainly we want to make sure it's not injured potentially, but uh, chances are just uh, building up some of those skills. I don't know if you ever fell as a kid, but I did all the time. And so uh, that does sometimes happen with them. How much water does he need? Great question. How much water does this bird need? Uh, so we actually don't uh, offer this bird necessarily any water. Uh, most of the water or all of the water that he needs right now, he is actually getting from those food items that he just ate. Uh, so uh, the blood inside of those animals, that provides a lot of the moisture necessary. Uh, certainly. Oh, birds like this, they might take a drink uh, every now and again when opportunity presents itself. But um, most of that moisture that they need, they get from their prey items. So fantastic question there. Another question you've answered, but um, um, someone was asking, how much does he weigh? Again, how much does he weigh? He weighs 1,540 grams as of today, so 3.4 pounds in body mass. And that is why I keep saying he. Based on that size, I'm guessing, again, this is a male. Uh, we've ha had that guess for uh, most of this bird's uh, life since he hatched. Um, a little bit smaller than what a female would be. So female Eurasian eagle owl at this stage uh, might be closer to about 2,000 grams, if not a little bit heavier. So closer to about five pounds in body size. Um, so guessing male based on uh, this bird's body weight and size. How far can he rotate his head? Really great question. How far can he rotate his head? Uh, all uh, birds actually have the ability to rotate their head about 270 degrees each direction. Uh, so not a full circle, uh, but this bird uh, can turn his head about three-fourths of the way around each way. So pretty incredible. And he's able to do that. Uh, one of the reasons is that he actually has 14 cervical vertebra. That means he has 14 bones in his neck. We feel ours as people, uh, we only have seven. So his neck is twice as long as ours. Uh, his head is attached uh, in a way as well that offers a swivel-like rotation. And he even has uh, uh, his blood supply set up in a way that it doesn't restrict blood flow to his brain when he does turn his head 270 degrees. Uh, you don't wanna lose that blood supply to that extremely important organ. And the main reason why we think owls, as well as, again, all birds can do that is so that they can preen. They really need to be able to clean and maintain those feathers, especially those ones on their back and on their tail. And this bird right now is constantly preening with those new feathers growing in. Uh, and so uh, a lot of times we see his head all the way behind. He's reaching those tricky feathers on his back, uh, helping to clean and maintain them. Great question. 
At what age will he be considered an adult? Really great question. At what age will he be considered an adult? Uh, so this bird uh, is going to look more like an adult uh, here in about the next month or so. Uh, he might maintain a few more of those down feathers on his head. Uh, but eagle owls actually have some of the longest parental care. Uh, this bird might stick with mom and dad uh, in the wild uh, for about six months. Uh, so can uh, have a lot of those juvenile uh, characteristics up until that point. Um, but um, uh, this bird, again, at about six months, would be out then on his own. So um, uh, pretty incredible. Uh, that being said, Eurasian eagle owls don't usually start reproducing and becoming sexually mature until about five years or so. Uh, so it can be a, a long time before he really reaches that adult stage. Uh, though these first feathers that he's growing in is going to make him look just like an adult Eurasian eagle owl. Are the feathers itchy? <laughs> Great question. Are the feathers itchy? Um, I don't know if they necessarily itch him. These are certainly a very soft down feathers. Um, but uh, certainly as some of those feathers are growing in, he's constantly working to maintain them. He's pulling off uh, the down uh, that you might see here uh, to allow those new feathers to grow in. So constantly doing a lot of maintenance here, uh, with him. <laughs> Great question. Again, uh, we have a toddler uh, human in our presence too, so really fun to get to have uh, both people. As far as vocalizations, is it instinct or does he have to learn from other owls? Really great question. Those vocalizations. Uh, so all of the vocalizations that he has, those are all instinctual. I'm not going to teach him that. Uh, this bird, he hatched here at the center as a part of our education team. We knew that we wanted him to do this job, and so we intentionally are imprinting him on people. This was never a wild bird, uh, so we actually have hand-raised him uh, from day one. And that's going to allow him to be most comfortable doing this education job. Um, that being said, though, he's going to need to do some things. He's going to need to fly. Uh, right here, we're getting a nice look at an owl going to the bathroom. He's going to need to vocalize as well. And uh, all of those things are instinct. Flight, what prey looks like and how to catch prey as well. That's all instinctual for him. And so uh, that's all built in. Uh, for the most part, anything you need to be able to do, even if you have really bad parents, uh, that's all going to be instinct. Great questions. All right, one last question. One last oh. question. Fantastic. When will he be able to fly if he hasn't already? Great question. When will he be able to fly? So again, at this point, we're seeing this chick doing some short hops, a lot of flapping as well to build up that muscle mass that's necessary. But I haven't seen him make it more than about three inches off the ground. Uh, he's still working to build up those muscles. Uh, but here in the next few weeks, we'll start to see those hops uh, increasing um, in uh, height. We'll see them increasing in length as well. And again, he's a really good climber. So when he does get up on things, he will hop off. Uh, and it provides a little bit of flight as well. Well, at this point, what we're going to do is let him do a little bit of exploring uh, this uh, outdoor landscape. But I want to thank you so much for coming and checking in uh, on this Eurasian Eagle Owl with us. And if you are interested in supporting us here at the Center for Birds of Prey and the Avian Conservation Center, especially during this really tough time uh, due to COVID-19, uh, I want to point out we have this really great limited edition t-shirt um, here. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing one of those, uh, that link uh, is actually uh, in the, uh, in the um, description. The description. There's the word I'm looking for uh, for this video. So check that out. All of those proceeds will go back into everything that we do and supporting us here again during this really tricky time when we can't have you out to come and visit us. Um, so um, uh, check out that link. Again, uh, purchase a t-shirt. Uh, we uh, love the same here that uh, we think uh, that caring is contagious too. Uh, hope you guys have a really great day and we'll hear from you soon.